Hi and welcome to another video. Today we will undervolt the RX 6800 that I got. It's a reference design and uh, it's a good GPU. It's a golden sample so to speak and first of all to undervolt the GPU correctly we'll need more power tool which I will link in the description. So uh, let's start. First of all, we have to select the GPU here. It's a uh, RX 6800. Then uh, on the first run, we have to select uh, the 6800 BIOS, which we can uh, get from techpowerup.com. So we load it. And um, we get the stock um, parameters. But I will show you um, my optimized setting first. So these are the stock uh, parameters. Um, 203 on the GPU, 200 on the GFX and uh, 30 ampere on the ZOC. So these are wattages. 203 for the GPU. And these are TDC limits, so uh, ampere limits 200 and 30 for the SOC, so uh, 200 for the GFX, for the graphics chip. Okay, um, let's load my settings. No. So I got um, 950 millivolts for the GPU, compared to the um, 1025, uh, which are stock. And I've got 217 on the GPU and 217 on Ampere on the GFX. Um, <coughs> yeah, but we will just undervolt the GPU and not fiddle with these uh, power limits. But with these power limits, um, I can show you. I can achieve 200, uh, 2500 megahertz on the um, GPU, which is quite good, and um, we are running at power limit plus 15. Yeah, the voltage, like you see, is 950 millivolts. So yeah, um, let's uh, load the stock settings. We get uh, go to the uh, big Navi ROM, the three uh, 6800 ROM, load it. And um, we will see that uh, these are the stock parameters. So yeah, um, to make uh, our undervolt work, we first go here and uh, put in 950 millivolts. It's 75 less than stock settings. But uh, if you want to uh, go even further, you can dial in 925 millivolts, but uh, of course it may not be stable. It uh, all depends uh, on the specific GPU that you got. Um, yeah, you can maybe low even low uh, go even lower to 900 millivolts, or if it's not stable, go to 975 millivolts. It all depends on your GPU and uh, the Wattman settings that uh, you will set uh, later. So yeah, let's go to 950 and write SPPT. Um, so you write uh, the soft power play tables and um, you then have to restart um, your GPU driver that can be achieved with uh, CRU um, with restart64.exe but you may um, do just a reboot mm, with Windows and yeah, um, this CRU hack um, will restart your driver so you won't have to restart uh, or reboot your system and it uh, comes quite handy um, because uh, it saves you a lot of time. So yeah, um, I'll pause uh, the recording 
because uh, that will reset my driver and see you then. So yeah, I've restarted the driver and then this um, window comes um, and it says uh, restart um, whatever and graphics driver restarted, then we are safe, we exit and then we go to load it, load it AMD Software Adrenaline We started, yeah, we started, okay Then we go to the performance section to tuning and uh, like you see um, we have um, our default profile then we uh, want to find a new undervolt so we uh, reset this proceed yes then we are um, on automatic tuning on the default um, we need to go to manual tuning custom here and we enable GPU tuning with advanced control uh, VRAM tuning with advanced control power tuning and fan tuning so yeah um, advanced control for fan tuning too so where do we start first of all we make sure that um, the power constraints are no problem so we increase the power limit to plus 15 or plus whatever uh, your maximum setting is apply changes and we see the voltage is now at 950 um, the default voltage is uh, 1025 so this is a good sign we've um, managed to undervolt so to cap the voltage here apply change we won't fiddle with uh, frequency yet so we can see how our FPS is mm, compared to um, the other settings we start um, intensive 3D game or benchmark whatever like um, Witcher 3 Yes, let's continue. So yeah, we've got around 50 FPS with um, 2182 MHz on the GPU and 180 watts. And The Witcher 3 is a very demanding game. So, um, for reference, this would um, consume around 200 watts with stock settings compared to uh, our undervolt settings. And the undervolt is gaining us a few FPS, I suppose, because the GPU um, will run uh, cooler and will take um, less wattage, so it can boost higher. Okay, um, then we can bring up our um, driver overlay and look um, which uh, megahertz we can achieve. So um, if you were just for, uh, for the undervolts, um, this would be it. You don't have to increase the megahertz of the your GPU, but um, more pow uh, more um, performance is always nice, so to say. So yeah, let's increase the uh, megahertz. For that, we uh, uh, hit Escape and Alt R to bring the driver overlay. So this is future me. Um, I got a problem that I can, I could not record um, Radiant Software with the game running. So I will now alt up and hopefully uh, will it this will get the job done. So yeah, um, driver is not perfect, so to say. So yeah, um, 
we are now at 2224 megahertz is a standard frequency and we will increase it to 2400 megahertz and bump the min frequency to 2000 so um, with the mean frequency we can achieve better frame pacing and hit apply yes um, we were at 50 megahertz previously hopefully yes very good we are at 54 now and um, the GPU is pulling 190 watts at 2350 megahertz these are very good settings and uh, we've increased performance but we're pulling uh, 20 watts more now so uh, let's minimize it and um, make a few other tweaks yep we go to vram tuning for that and push it to 2100 megahertz yep and um, depending on your card we can increase uh, memory timing to fast timings and this uh, would um, increase FPS by one or two but this is not necessary if your card is not stable with fast timing just go with uh, default timings we then apply changes and we are running at 2100 megahertz VRAM we go back in game and we've increased um, FPS by one or so this is not a big increase but um, nonetheless helpful so yeah um, what we can do from now is to minimize it and we will go to more power tool select the GPU and we will go to 900 millivolts which is quite aggressive for this uh, we write as PPTs successfully edit and go to CAU and restart so I will pause re the recording because otherwise it, it will break so we are back again we've restarted the driver and we'll hit exit then go to AMD Software General Edition and we are now at 900 millivolts so let's go back to stock frequency first uh, yep, apply and start with just 3 uh, I will pause again so yeah, uh, Witcher 3 is now running in the background we got um, max frequency which is default at 2224 megahertz and we are uh, on 900 millivolts with min frequency 2000 with uh, memory at 2100 megahertz and we go back in the game Yeah, we are now at 51 FPS, so we lost a little bit um, because we decreased the uh, max frequency. But now we are at uh, 164 watts and uh, 2170 megahertz. So what we can do from here is um, to decrease the uh, frequency to save us uh, a lot of, of wattage and hopefully not um, losing too much on performance 51 FPS 2170 megahertz you see 
164 watts. So yeah, we are again at performance tuning. Then we go down to 2000 megahertz, for example. And here just 1900. And hit apply. And start with just three again. So yeah, uh, here we lost about 4 FPS and 200 megahertz, but we also lost uh, 20 and more watts, around 30 watts maybe. And the temperature is much lower than before. And so the fan speeds are too. Um, yeah. From here we can go even lower. Or we can go even higher. So let's try 2400 megahertz. Um, not every card will do this uh, high megahertz at this low voltage, but uh, my card um, is capable of doing so. We hit reply and we go back in which is 3. Now we are at 54 FPS and 172 watts. Frequency is around 2,300, uh, 2340 megahertz and um, temperature increased so uh, with the wattage and the GPU fan is uh, be has become a little bit audible but that's no problem so yeah um, you can fiddle around with some settings too and achieve very good results. So that's it for today and thanks for watching.